Welcome, YouTube, to this species spotlight. Today, it's about the Mandarin goby, a very questioned fish in the reef hobby. First of all, they can be captive bred, but it's very hard to breed them in captivity because of their finicky eating habits, especially when they're babies. The Mandarin goby is actually part of the dragonet family, so it's not a goby. They're recommended for experienced hobbyists, but they can be done by beginners with extreme precaution. They can range from three to four inches. Males are mainly bigger, and they're brighter in color. Females are darker in color, and they are... Um, mainly three inches smaller uh they can be weaned on to mysis or prepared food but it's very hard to do that there are many types of mandarin gobies such as the spotted mandarin goby um which it's the same care level for these guys um they might get slightly bigger and there is the red scooter bunny which looks like this um, they're not actually a bunny. They're part of the Mandar the dragonet family. Same copepods. They're a little more um, hard to take care of because they're smaller. Um, make sure you didn't get a small Mandarin goby because they um, are harder to keep alive. Um, if you're going to have one in a 30-gallon, which they you can't have one, you have to have a ton of copepods. And um, you can set up a refugium for them so the copepods can grow. Make sure you have your... If you're going to get a Mandarin goby, make sure you have to wait six months before you get one so the copepods can grow without your tank. The copepods will eat your nuisance algae and lots of extra food. Um, they are reef safe. Make sure there's no um, aggressive fish in the tank with them, such as like six line wrasses, damsels, puffers, triggerfish, eels, any big aggressive fish or small aggressive fish. Um, they can perch on corals, make them close up. So watch about that. They are like every other marine fish, so they need n normal parameters. Um, except they're very sensitive, so be very they have to be very stable. So before you go, here's some more information on. Um, the Mandarin Gobi. It is like from the Aquarium ID app. You can find the app store. It's all about other saltwater fish and corals. Um, here's the recommended stuff. Um, the overview down here. It is one to four inches, which I said. Expert only, which is recommended. Fifty-five gallons plus recommended. The um, the parameters down there is what's recommended. It can go up to one point um, zero two six in salinity. Um, so thank you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe.